Hey, what's up, friends? How y'all doing? Don't laugh about my tree, y'all. I know y'all are going to get it. Man, I don't need... <laughs> I got a box for the tree if that helps any. Look, friends. I got one of these for it, so I'm ready. Hey, what's up with it, friends? How y'all doing? Okay, so we're going to talk about this weather. Please take it serious. Just take some precautions. Don't spend a lot of money either, friends. But, you know, just be ready. Just be ready just in case the weather turns, you know, in our direction. And pray. Pray a lot. Uh, they're talking about the flights going out and how they could be affected. <coughs> they're talking about people wanting to probably travel out. I mean, do y'all stay or do you guys evacuate? What's the deal? What's up, friends? Um... I know I'm talking to my daughter right now. Like, what are her and her boyfriend? Are they going to come back into town? Or what are they going to do? You know, my, my babies. I need to know what... Because what, he's like my son. So, I want to know, you know, what, what are they going to do? What are the plans? Uh, I'd rather they come stay with mama. But we'll see what happens, friends. Hey, how are y'all doing? What's up, Jermaine? What's up, friends? Yes, friends. Yes, my Christmas tree is still up. Look. Oh, my gosh. Since y'all... I, I have not had time to, to get this tree out the way. Let me, let me, how do I turn on the light? There you go. That's my Christmas tree, friends. I know, I know. Everybody's like, oh my God, she still has her Christmas tree. Friends, I don't ever have time to do anything. Baby, this tree, it took me three weeks to put it up and it's taken me months. Somebody says it's going to be a one. Man, me and this tree, we're going to ride out the hurricane, whatever. What's it called? Bethel? Beth, Beth, Barrel? Whatever. Bethel? <laughs> I, I know. it's what. Wait, like, what's the name of this thing? Bethel? No. <laughs> Bethel? Hold on. <laughs> what's the name of this? Uh... Oh, my God. Let me. I, I don't even know how to say it. Bechtero? Hold on. What's this hurricane? Houston weather. Let me, let me look, look, look. Houston... Hold on, hold on. I gotta love it. Man, friends, y'all are so funny, man. I died laughing because remember that video with Janie's friend? Okay, so there was a missing guy and he really wasn't missing. And and then the whole city got played and, and including ourselves when he got found last year, like around Ju July 29th, he was found. And then his family declared July 1st that he'd been officially found. And so uh, he fast forwarded to a year later, the dude goes missing around the same time that the anniversary was coming up. And then some lady messaged me. She's a supporter of the mom that pretended that her son was missing. Uh, she says, I don't like what you're posting. So I, I, she called me from a weird number and I called it back. And uh, I wanted you guys to hear that. And the whole time I'm arguing with that lady, this Christmas tree like stole the show, dude. It's hilarious, man, friends. Oh, okay, Cheryl with a B. Barrel, barrel, barrel. It's going to barrel down our way. Hold on. Hold on, let me see. What's the name of this thing? Okay, 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 here it is. Okay, barrel, Bur barrel. Barrel sounds like, like a husky woman, kind of like me, man. We're, 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 we're grizzlies, man. <laughs> oh, my God, friends. So, yeah, somebody says... Man, I don't know. What do y'all think, friends? Just get toilet paper, but don't take... Look, don't buy all the toilet paper. Don't go buying all these deli meats. And, and, and don't go don't go fill your fridge. Because, look, this is what y'all do. I'm not going to lie, friends. This is what y'all do. Every time we get some kind of scare, some kind of freeze, some kind of whatever, you guys go and, and, and shop like y'all are, like, throwed. And then, and then you know damn well the power's going to go out in the hood, friends. The power is going to go off and all your food's going to go bad. Everything you buy, like y'all buy weenies, you buy hams. You think in your mind that you're going to make all these sandwiches. And then you forget the main thing, ice. Or, you know, or some people do have, uh, I got one of those generator things. Those come in so handy, friends. But it's like half of your house is still off anyways. I hate when the power goes off. It's so depressing. I hate it. On the brighter note. Thank God I got rid of the trees, friends. Those two trees that were in my backyard, they're gone. The 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 one on the side of my house that could have killed me or my neighbor, I told her, I said, neighbor, leave your fence open. They're coming. So we had a, 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 a tree company. They came and removed it the same day. 
two big water oak trees, man. And I need to shout them out because I was really, really impressed. They removed two trees. I had other companies quoting me like a lot of money, friends. And then they told me it's going to take a week for them to take it down. These dudes handled it up, man. Rasa power. That's all I got to say, man. Rasa power. Okay, let me read some of the comments. I ain't going to be no noodles or toilet paper or bread. It ain't going to be no no noodles, toilet Man, you already know, friends, the struggle food. Man, I'm going to be eating. Look, friends, if this if this thing does turn into something, I'm going to be eating jailhouse food. What's jailhouse food? Spreads. Jailhouse spreads. So you get you some, some packs of ramen noodles, and you get, like, summer sausage. The summer sausage is always good. Uh, you get the best ones. You get like since we're in the free world, you get to get the best of everything. Get some chili, crush up some chips. I like a lot of like uh, kettle kettle potato chips. Um, then you get the season packets, jalapenos. You you dice them up, man. Like jailhouse food is some of the best struggle survival food, man. I don't know, and and it's it makes plenty, and it's a budget. You don't have to you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. We're gonna put some spread. Yeah, we should do some spread recipes. <laughs> you'll thank me later. If you ain't ever had a spread, friends, if you ain't ever had a spread, you'll thank me later. A lot of people have had folks on lockdown, so you've probably already tasted a spread. Or you might not, or you might have been abandoned in your life and you know personally, like me. Yes. Not the spread. Yes, friends. PBJ sandwiches are good. Yes, nice. And you can toast them on a the grill, too. You can toast the bread, butter it up. Man, I, you know, I'm a fat girl, so, like, I like everything being done, like, really extra. You know, I like the food. Hey, what's up, Sam? Are you still in Georgia? Mm. Yes, friends. Yes, it's my Christmas tree. Y'all like it? It's so cute, right? Hold on. Let me let me show y'all my Christmas tree. I got tons of birds in it. Look, friends. Even down there, too. I got tons of birds. Like, like I'm a bird lady. I love birds. And I got birds, birds, birds. Look at the birds. They're everywhere. There's, the, the, the tree is filled with birds. Man, friends, I bought, like, all the decor. This is from Ross. This one's from H-E-B. Like, from everywhere, everywhere that I go, I would see stuff. And I would just buy. It's been, like, a collection. I got swans up in there, too. Look at the, look at the swans. Mm -mm. Oh, don't forget the Takis and the Cheetos. Oh, yes. So, yeah, friends, I just haven't had time to take down the trees. I haven't had time, and I got the box. You hear my dog? He's talking. Come on, Duke. Come on, Dukey. Come on, Papa. Come on, Papa Duke. This dog, look look how he shredded up his toy, man. The, the dog, look, he shredded all of this up, man. This was a toy. This was a dog toy. No way. Come on, Duke. Where's your toy? Look, look, look. Hold on, friends. Let me show y'all. Look, look at the dog. Oh. You want your toy? You want your toy? Man, this dog is out of control, friends. He is out of control. Look at the other one back there. My goodness. Uh, I hope everybody's 4th of July was good. Now we got this crazy weather. Are you prepared? Do y'all have enough toilet paper? Please don't buy all the toilet paper, friends. Please, friends, it's, it's, look, the weather, it, if it strikes Houston, it's going to flood. So move those cars out the way. Look, look, let's learn from all these other past years and all these other tragedies, okay? One, stay ready. Get get water so you can flush your toilets. Um, stay out the flood. Park your cars, you know, where you can, where it's going to be safe. Be careful with all these trees. That is the biggest one, friends. The trees, man. Please, 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 please. Make sure you got drinking water. Go get you some waters, friends, because for some reason, nobody ever gets waters. Okay, and then toilet paper. Just get a week's worth, friends. You don't You don't need You don't need to go buy, like, eight, like, jumbo economy packs. Like, no, no, no. You don't need to go to Sam's Club and buy out all the toilet paper, friends. I don't know why y'all do that. Y'all started doing that around COVID. Don't do that, friends yes yeah i know I, I don't know like it's just crazy friends please just be have gasoline for your start getting the gasoline now if you have generators you know that you need or that you have whatever and uh bolt them down too because the the this is another one get ready for the crime that comes with hurricanes 
while during Hurricane Harvey, Hood News was still kind of young. The Hood News was around during Hurricane Harvey, but it was kind of like a small, small platform. We didn't have a whole bunch of, maybe like 50K people. But get ready for the, the crime because people are going to try to steal generators. They're going to they're gonna loot. I remember Family Dollar was getting hit up. I think somebody blew up a hole in the side of a cash, uh, like a cash America place. Like one, no, like a cash, a check cashing place. I don't know where it was on Jensen. I think they broke into it, stole money. Like a lot of crazy stuffs happened. So take precautions. Be aware, crime is gonna be a thing because there's always and 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 if you're the criminal committing these crimes, they might increase your charges because during one of the hurricanes, I remember. They increase, they enhance the charges. If you think about, if you're thinking about committing crimes, if you're a bandit and you follow the hood news because you're committing crime, just remember, they will increase, they will enhance those charges because you're taking advantage of, of us like when, when the city is down. So if you're thinking about committing crimes or looting or anything like that, just remember, those charges are going to get increased. Yes. Channel 2 said it will be like Hurricane Alicia. Let's look up Hurricane Alicia because I don't know. I think I was locked up for that one. Hold on, friends. I was locked. Don't forget I was in prison. Hold on. Hurricane Alicia, Houston. I don't remember that one. Which one's that one? Ooh. Oh, my God. No. That looks bad, friends. A. A lot of people on Instagram just discovered that my name is not grizzly <laughs> oh my god i shared a video uh that a guy recorded and he's like grizzly where you at girl and i shared it on instagram and and the the real the 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 day one peeps are like why is he saying your name wrong and that just opened a huge discussion and they're not even worried about the, what's on the video they're like oh my god i've been saying her name wrong all this time somebody's saying oh it's grizzly it's grizzly Man, y'all, I don't know, friends, that, that grizzly thing. I don't know where y'all see that. Hold on. I'm looking for videos of Hurricane Alicia. All right. Watch the incredible. Okay, let's let's watch this video. We're going to watch this video. Hold on, friends. Hold on. All right. I don't know. Hurricane Alicia of NASA Road 1, which leads from El Lago to Seabrook. Oh? Wind and waves have turned it into a watery junkyard. Even a boat won't do you any good today. Okay. I don't think we got to see. Hold on. I need to look for the H-Town damages. Oh, okay. Somebody says, girl, we were four when Alicia came. Okay, my bad. Alicia was 1983, not 1985. Okay, friends, I, I was a, I was a little Grizzly was a little Hellcat. I was a baby Hellcat. Jesus. Oh my gosh, friends. I was that hurricane in Sugar Land. What? Okay, Alicia was before cell phones. Okay, dang, man. I don't know. How, how are they comparing that to... Man, I don't know, friends. Somebody says, how did you get the name Grizzy? It's Griselda. The problem was nobody... Okay, so the, the name Grizzy is my nickname since the third grade elementary. I went to Grace Raymond Elementary. And, and Grizzy came because people could not say griselda my my real name is griselda griselda but people could not pronounce that no matter how much my name has always been effed from the start i don't even know why they gave me that grandma ass name they gave me a dope dealer's name dude like what the what were my parents thinking but you know griselda blanco i guess you know she was uh i guess i was born before she became griselda blanco but i don't know what my parents were thinking like i don't know what kind of yayo or what they were smoking i don't know friends i don't know what what my parents were on i don't they didn't think that one through too good 
Well, anyways, and that's why I named my daughter Madeline. I want to give my daughter a chance, man. I was like, no, 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 I'm not doing all that. I ain't going to do nothing too crazy. I want my, my baby's name to be able to be pronounced. And I'm traumatized with the names, friends. But yeah, my name is Griselda. But for some reason, when I was a kid, they couldn't pronounce Griselda. So they'd say Grizzy. So I've been a Grizzy since the third grade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about name changing too. Somebody says, all right, that's my name. What's up, Griselda? Yes, legendary name. Yeah, friends, they try to call me after a dope dealer, dude. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah, I like my name. I like my name. I just like, I, I just don't like that people can't pronounce it. I should do Griselda Castillo News. Yeah. Man, friends, pray for me. Your, your girl, like, I've been going through some shit, friends. Pray for me, friends. I really have. I've been going through some some tests and stuff man y'all y'all pray for me because i don't know just just i ask for that um ask ask for ask for prayer for me okay i pray for y'all all the time please please keep me in your prayers i'm not gonna say too much but just keep me in your prayers friends yes allison was a lot of water uh, I prefer listening to storm chasers instead of weather from the mainstream media. They like to scare everybody. Yes, I know, friend. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of hype. But but I saw one of the, the you know, what do you call those guys that aren't really mainstream? I saw this guy that, like, tracks the, 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 the weather and stuff, like a storm chaser. And he says that there's reason to have concern. So, you know, I kind of like, okay, so this dude is pretty pretty accurate you know i got him on my 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 timeline so it just like came up in my feed come on duke come on duke duke was trying to duke was trying to get my bra y'all man <laughs> we got a we got a bra bandit look at the bra bandit look 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 friends the, i know the christmas tree is throwing y'all off too look he thinks it's a toy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god man this dog is a trip dude he was trying to he thought my my bra was a toy dude he's he's something else like he's almost two years old i think like he's still a puppy i guess i don't know what's wrong with him mm -mm. hey hello thanks for the time you are oh hell no we got one of those bots in here hold on to me why do y'all get hacked you know like a lot of people complain i block them and it's because uh they get they get hacked and their accounts get hacked because y'all open a stupid link on y'all's thing. Somebody sends y'all a stupid message and then you click on it and then you've been hacked. Oh, thank you. Hey, what's up, Connie? I love you, friend. Yeah, just pray for me, friends. I I'm going through some tests right now. Like, you know, and, and, and I really love the hood news and I've been working very hard for it for the last few years. So I just, 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 just pray. Look, my, my specific prayer is that God put clarity for the hood news that god provide clarity for the hood news and safety for the hood news yeah i think that's a good one well not safety like 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 pew pews or nothing like that no like just just that the 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 hood news is always protected in in the way that you know i've worked hard to make it and and that in that kind of way not like safety, like I fear for my life. Hell no, I'm, I wish a motherfucker would. Shit. No, no, not like that. But just when when things get really big, it's easy for bullshit to happen. You know, and I'm in, in a phase right now where I just want to know that everything's going to be okay. Yeah. My roses are good. I need to repot them. I need to repot them. I might put them in the ground, like put them like to... I might... Cause when they're potted they don't last long because i don't know i guess you got to change out the dirt constantly i think to keep them potted hey thank you friends uh thank you friends what's up brandy is that brandy that my friend brandy that i know i think so i can't see judy is telling uh miana to stop it okay are y'all fighting in there yeah yeah thank you friends mm -hmm. hey what's up oh 
Hey, it happened in the 80s. Are y'all fighting? Oh, Anna, Anna, Chris. I'm sorry, friend, but you've been blocked. You got you got to go, sis, because you got hacked, man. Banned from all live streams. Yes. Just, I'll do that until she can recover her. Yeah, somebody said block Anna, Chris. Gotcha. I got you, friends. I got you. It won't let me block her. Ban. All right, I'm just going to ban her. There you go. Any news on Janie? Yeah, no, no news on Janie. Her friend, her friend, uh, I guess she gave the phone over to the friend. Like, Janie's friend, a lot, maybe, I think I was talking to Janie. But it came from Janie's friend's phone number. I think Janie and her friend were together. That arguing, that video I did where I'm arguing with somebody. Yeah, I think it was Janie on the phone. And she just let like Janie borrow her phone like somebody friends why do okay I, I I don't I don't understand like how do people sit there and defend this woman that had her son hidden from the world for several years like man I don't care what cartel story she comes with she told people okay Rudy Fidey asked we're just gonna talk about it okay we're gonna talk about it and, and this is from my conversation with Nikki the best friend because the the be, the 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 friend knew that Rudy had been missing. That's how they met. Nikki was a good friend of Janie's, right? And and she knew about Rudy. She started off as just me or you, like just us. You know, you see that somebody's going through something. She saw that Rudy was missing, and she decided to volunteer to help look for Rudy. Well, she did. She went to go search for Rudy and everything. And then one day. I don't remember how the story goes, but one day Rudy is there and she's like, is that Rudy? And they're like, yeah, we found him, but don't say. And then, and then Janie said this thing. She said, don't tell anybody that, you know, that Rudy has been found because the cartel is looking for him. And so she's like, what? So that, that became another way for Rudy to get out and have friends, you know, like she remember Rudy was hidden from everybody except the neighbors. I don't think the neighbors, it's the hood, so people don't ask a lot of questions in the hood. They don't stay, but like 10 minutes away from me. So in the hood, like if you see something, you like pr pretty much people mind their business, you know. I don't think anybody knew that Rudy was missing in the neighborhood. Like I don't think people knew because she had moved there with him or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Neighbors come and go. People rent out houses. They come and go. They just knew that you know that he was around you know and he had a problem you know with with substances and stuff well she was told to never say anything you know that's that's my understanding i was like how did how did you know how did how did you not know and she's like i knew he was missing i was a volunteer but then i was i i realized he wasn't anymore and they told me not to say anything because his life was in danger his dad was a cop that got caught in a scandal and then committed suicide like all these things right just a very, very complicated story. So Nikki just stayed quiet. So Rudy was at a point where he was rebellious. And and sometime last year, around June 29th, he grabbed Janie's car. He had jobs on the down low, working at uh, game rooms and stuff, as security with his mom. Like, you know, whatever. At some point, Rudy decides to run away like it's got to be torture you can't go out no bed nowhere people are thinking that you're missing you have to hide from your family when they show up to the house you got to go to the garage and hide he had to live a life where he was hiding except from his neighbors and from nikki he didn't have to hide from no nobody in the neighborhood and he didn't have to hide from nikki because she was under a, a lies and impressions and lies you know so one day rudy Imagine you can't date, you can't go out, you can't get laid, you can't have sex with a girl, you can't have experiences, you can't go out and have fun, you're confined to your house and like a, a down low job. That's all he could do was work with his mom and then be under his mom's roof all day long. So yeah, of course he became rebellious. Hell yeah, he did. He grabbed his mom's car and wrecked it somewhere. He's, he was already starting to escape. He was tired of it. 
And this is not opinion. This is actual fact. I'm going to stick to the facts, right? So one day, somebody called HPD and said, hey, there's a woman laid out in front of a church. And HPD gets out there. Nikki, like, I guess Nikki shows up because I think he called her or something on a phone because he had a phone. He even had a Bumble. He even had a Bumble account. And I know this because I picked up his phone and got nosy. I was like, let me see his phone. So I picked it up because he was acting like he couldn't talk around me. So I picked up his phone to see if he would say something. He, he stayed quiet around me. And so uh, I saw he had a Bumble notification. I don't know what Bumble is, but he had that notification. I think it's a dating app. Anyways, so, so HPD found him in front of a church laid out on June 29th, right? And Nikki also arrived. And, and she told him, hey, I think now's your time to tell the cops who you really are. Because he had other names. He'd been pulled over before, you know. He's, he's encountered the police before and would use names, like other names. So the, the cops were looking and they're like, what? And Nikki said, yeah, he's going to tell you who he is right now. And that's when Rudy said, hey, my name is Rudy Farias. Nobody did anything. There was no reaction, friends. No reaction. Janie came, got her boy, and it was already kind of like out there. Like, okay, so you're not missing, whatever. And I guess they decided to do this publicity thing, like make that post like a few days later saying, Rudy's been found. Rudy's been found. Oh, my God, Rudy's been found. Well, I shared. I didn't question it. I had no idea that any of that had happened. All I know is that there were pictures of him at a hospital and that his feet were in bad shape and just weird things, right? But he always walked barefooted. That was the thing. That's why his feet look like that. So, so, <clears throat> so I shared like, you know, we were sharing for years that he was a missing person. Every year we'd share it one time. The Hood News, that's one of the first stories of missing people that we shared was Rudy's. So I was like, wow, he's been found. That's great. And I didn't think nothing of it. I was real busy. So I shared, hey, Rudy's been found. Rudy's been found. And next thing I know, Janie's, one of Janie's, the mom that's been hiding her son for all those years, she reaches out from a catfish profile. And this lady had a bunch of fake profiles, dude. And she's like, hey, Janie would like to talk to you. Uh, they don't appreciate the comments. Some of your followers are, are saying that these are lies because you guys started, you guys knew that something wasn't right. The wristband was off. Things about the hospital picture did not add up to you guys. You guys wanted to know where was he all this time. Eventually, it made it on the news. The mainstream got a hold of it. Hey, Rudy's been found. But people were already skeptical because things did not, the, the math did not math. So the next thing we know, friends, she reaches out to me and she starts talking about Lifetime movies. And I'm like, this bitch is not acting like somebody that just found her son. You know, like, like I talk to parents of missing every day. Every day I talk to parents of the missing. Every day. Not one day goes by that I don't talk to a, a family member or a parent of somebody that has gone missing. When, when their children are found after lengthy periods of time, they don't talk the way Janie was talking. They're like, oh my God, you know, look, Rizzy, they've been through some horrible, my baby's been through some horrible things. Keep us in your prayer. I'm just so glad my baby's been found. I'm so hurt. You know, I'm crying. Oh my God, I'm sick to my stomach about what my kid went through. Like all that kind of talk, right? I'm so devastated, man. I wish I could have done something different. Whatever, the parents are emotional, but they're grateful. They tell us, hey, thank you. Janie's conversation was nothing like that. She's like, She's like, well, I'm, I, I wanted to talk to you. The first thing she tells me, I wanted to talk to you because I don't like what your followers are saying. I was like, what? Who gives a shit? Like, you just found your son after years that he went missing. Well, guess what? I've got two phones. I started recording the conversation because it made no sense, friends. I got a lot of video. I got a lot of recordings of me and her talking, and it's not illegal. It's a it's a, a, a two a one party state, whatever they say. So I started recording her. 
And she started talking about Netflix and shows reaching out to her. It was delusional. She did not talk about where he had been or that she was happy he was found because she already knew like her her she didn't think about putting on the real smart show and shutting up because the smartest thing to always do is shut up your attorneys will tell you shut up don't say nothing be quiet because it can and will be used against you and it sure was baby because i was recording so um wait friends hold on what's going on here hold on oh sorry y'all gotta see my bra again hold on Was that you digging in the video? Or was that you on a video with some guy digging in your mailbox? Yes, friend. You're late to the show. All right. Anyways. So, so, um, so I started recording, friends. The shit, if I were to play all of it for y'all, y'all will freak out. I've shared some of the videos. Yes. But there's a lot of it I did not share. And I'm like, man, this shit is for some lifetime shit. I knew she was guilty. I knew she was guilty. And it did not make sense. And I knew all of it was a lie on her end. But I did feel very sorry for Rudy. I knew something. It, you can't be okay if you're playing along with your mom all those years that, that you're missing. Like, no, you were manipulated, dude. Like, you didn't get to go out with girls. You didn't get to have fun. You didn't get to have nothing normal. You had to hide. And then, man, there were some other things that were said. I don't know what's what anymore. But uh, I told her, I said, we should meet up. You know, like, you know, uh uh, is HPD going to do a conference or are y'all going to talk about where he's been all this time? It's none of it made sense. Not even from the, the law, the legal part of it. Like why hasn't she been charged for lying for the scamming for all those things? Right? So friends, here we are a whole year later. None of it made sense. Friends, it turned into a debacle, a, a circus, a show. I got slammed too for helping People thought that my intentions were bad. Like, I was in on it. I'm like, I promise I'm not. And and so, uh, it was crazy. Everybody's questioning. Like, it, we went down rabbit holes. Like, people were going into folks' financials, real estate, deeds, uh, uh, paperwork, background checks. Like, it was a crazy story, friends. Well, fast forward. Rudy went to go back to his mother's after he was removed from the home. I think APS, Adult Protective Services, somehow were, were notified. He was seeing a forensics, you know, uh, psychologist. But no charges were ever filed on his mother for lying to the whole city of Houston that her son was missing. She's not She's not paid for any of that or, or, or for the fraud because she collected money out of the good kindness of people's hearts, you know, for missing persons. Like, she collected GoFundMes. She even invented that Rudy had cancer at one time and he never had cancer. So it's just really sad, man. So fast forward, he ended up going back to live with his mom. You know, we've seen them. There's been sightings of them everywhere. There's been all of that. And and so, uh, so Rudy recently ran away from the house on June 29th. Kind of like he did the same day last year. June 29th, he left the house. I got it on the HPD flyer of the missing persons thing. So then all of a sudden he's found June 1st. He was found. And I guess he's getting some help or something and some evaluations. I don't know too much of that thing. But to me, if you ask me, friends, and, and with the call, the, the lady calling me and everything, the unknown number and all this bullshit, if you ask me, friends, I feel like it's all one big publicity stunt. And I feel like there will be some sort of reality show or some documentary because they've already been making appearances here and there. I feel like this is all a stunt. I don't believe, I, I believe he needs help, yes. Uh, do I think he's a victim? Yes. Was he in on it? I think so now. Now that I'm able to see things clearly, yes. I mean, because you could really just run away. But, 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 that, that, uh, Stockholm syndrome is a thing too. So it's, it's a very deep and complex case. I don't know. I don't know, friends. It's just too much. I'm not a forensic psychologist. I'm not, I don't know. I'm just grizzly and the shit does not add up, friends. Yes. That, that whole story. When people told me he went missing, I was like, I don't care. I don't care. My reaction, I, friends, I got hysterical. I had people messaging me. 
And they're like, Grizzy, Rudy's missing again. I said, I don't care. I don't care. Friends, I needed help, like psychological help. I thought I was going to die of a stroke from all the stress that that story brought into my life. Every day I was hounded with messages, the daily mail, like people reaching out to hear my side and to, man, it was just horrible, friends. It was horrible because I tried to help because I knew something wasn't right. But it all just trying to help. I mean, I got slammed. I tried to defend Rudy and it backfired. You know, I will never put myself out there like that again for some weird shit like that. Never again, friends. Never again. I'm okay now. When when uh, one of my friends, Cindy, reached out to me, she's like, Grizzy, guess who's missing? And I was like, I don't care. I already know. I already know. The neighbors, the day before he was found, they're like, Grizzy, crime scene's out here. Supposedly, he cut himself, bled on a car, and they took that car in for evidence. Crime scene units were out there looking for him. Then the next day, Texas EcuSearch was out there looking for him in the woods. Like, all these resources were wasted. Man, friends, I don't know. If you ask me, it was a sham. It was another uh, a ruse or, or some kind of gimmick. Or it was something. It was, I don't know. On his part, it might be genuine. But how do you guys get Texas EQ search out there so fast? And we got, like, people really missing. We got people found in Buffalo Bayou. A young man, a 22-year-old, found dead in the water. How how do they prioritize? I don't know, friends. I ain't going to ask too much. I guess maybe they were asked by HPD. But why did they prioritize that? And meanwhile, we've got a, a, a little boy that was missing for three or four weeks. Uh, three weeks, I think, with autism. And nobody prioritized that. How? How? Because I work around things where there's a lot of resources. I know how these resources work. There's a criteria how did that shit get bumped up so fast? Mm. I think it, I think that Rudy is being shunned and hidden and everything and not getting the proper help he needs. Maybe maybe he's getting some proper help now. But they really need to get him away from that mom, dude. That mommy dearest shit. Ugh. And 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 to keep an eye on him too because those things you don't really bounce back from that. Yeah, friends. I just want to know what's the criteria for some of these things because I know a few stories right now where there are some missing adults that foul play is suspected and they might not even be alive right now and nobody's able to help these families find them. And and these are like investigations that I'm sure should be underway or something. But why why did Rudy get that priority? Was it because he cut himself and they thought he might have walked into the woods or what? Like if you ask me, friends, this is one big publicity stunt, and there, there's got to be a, a reality show around the corner. Mm -hmm. Yes, friends. There's got to be, man, like the little boy from Rosenberg that was missing. The little, the little boy, an African-American boy, was missing, and he had autism, and he was missing for weeks. For weeks. Why weren't there resources out there for him? He should have been found much, much, much sooner. Not no three weeks and then it took the, the, the police department a whole week. They, they didn't even file him as a missing person when mom went over there. I was like, what? Are you serious? Man, so he was like a whole week out there. And it took weeks to get him back. So I, finally, somebody found him. But yeah, the little boy was like, what, 13, 12, 13, 14, something like that. He had autism. He, he, he has special needs. He needed to be found. But this grown man goes missing. And right away, oh, let's get the hounds. Let's go look for them. I don't know. How does that work? Mm. Yes, friends. Yes, resources were wasted. They could have been looking for somebody really, really needing it. Because there's a lot of families right now that they wish they could have somebody go search a bayou or go search some woods because they have a feeling their family members might be back there. Oh, my God, friends. Oh, my God. My God. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Jaden Jones. Yeah, you know Tracy. Yep. Yes. A lot yes, friend. You already know Crystal. Yes, a lot more people more deserving of the resources girl. Hundred percent. Yes. Like like Kaylana Turner.
Kaylana Turner, why wasn't why weren't they able to go search out there immediately? And she was found only a hundred feet away from where she originally was last seen, friends. That is a scary story. Look it up, friends. Kaylana Turner is a great story example of why like how it took a long time to get the actual resources out there why couldn't there be priority for her but this kid goes missing within 24 hours and they go no this grown man who was part of a huge lie goes missing and they get on it right away what is up with that i think it's convenient for people to know where he's at at all times i think that there's more to the story I don't know, man. I don't I don't want to ever question anybody's integrity or nothing, but there's so much more to this story, friends. There's a reason why it's convenient to know where he's at at all times. And it's a, and, and there's a reason why it might be convenient for him to be still living with his mom. I think that man, friends, there's some I'm not a conspiracy theorist type person, but something's up with all of that. Why has she not been charged? First off, why has she not been charged for lying? For, for a false report of a missing person. Why has she not been charged with with scams? With with scamming people for money? I mean, damn, you know, like they the, the money crimes always get people. Why, 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 why? You lied and said that your son was missing for several, several years. And every year you rubbed it in people's face. My son is missing. Help me find my son with your fake ass profiles. Oh, my God. Like six profiles talking to each other. Fake profiles. Man, friends, y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's not even. Man, that shit is crazy, friends. That's going to be a Lifetime movie, like she said. She ain't lying. It's going to be on Lifetime. I promise you. Mm. Yes. What's up, friends? I've thought about that, too, Angelina. Look at Angelina's comment, y'all. And my girl, Angelina Signs. I've thought about that, too, friends. Man, let me tell y'all something, man. In in the world of the hood news stuff, there are snitches out there, friends. There are snitches. Like, I see a lot of crazy shit, man. I see a lot. Man, friends, like, you know, when I'm done recording or something, I'm out there at the scenes. And, and then they'll pull out this random person and they point something. Friends, there's a lot of snitches, dude. They're, they're not going to tell you, hey, I'm a snitch. Nah, it'll be their own homeboys, friends. There's so many snitches in the hood. They have the audacity to call us snitches. We're concerned citizens. We're in your face. Like, we will say, hey, that's the dude that robbed them people. We know who it is. That's different. But there are real snitches in the hood, friends. Man, I've seen so many people busted with, like, pharmacy uh, scripts. Like, all kinds of stuff throughout the day. Like, you guys send me videos, too. And sometimes I see the same people in those videos. I'm like, that's a snitch dude and i don't even know if i can put certain videos out because it's the same people i'm like are these people i don't know if i can protect snitches or what like i i don't know i've seen snitches in some of the videos friends it's the same people sometimes it's like a pattern and i'm like i i know that's not a cop you know like we know more or less like what the undercovers look like you know or whatever well no not not really because maybe they're undercover cops i don't know maybe they're undercover that they're that good at at uniforming maybe it is maybe maybe so i don't know i don't know nothing no more i just know that when friends get locked up together when let me let me say this okay for my youngsters out there when you commit crimes with your homies get ready because they will tell on you they will flip on you they will flip my my last example was the little boys the two little boys that that shot that man at the farmer's fresh produce market trying to steal a golf cart one of those boys turned himself in to hurry up and get it out there so he could be protected with, you know, like whatever. Like, okay, he, he's cooperating witness. Even though the crime was captured on video, it's still always good to get the, the other, get at least one of them to turn on the other one. So, yeah, snitching, snitching, snitching. I see it all the time. They cry in the back seats. They're like, I don't want to go to jail. I'll tell you, especially women too, man. I don't want to go to jail. I'll tell you where I got the drugs. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Man, friends, I see it all the time. Yes, yes. Mm -mm. Yeah, friends, the snitches. Come on, come on. Look, look, reporting for duties here. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty.
Betul. The bird. <laughs> I put the bra on her head. It looks like a... Oh, look, she put the little cone. It's your bra, baby? Yes, I put the bra on her. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I miss putting costumes on my dogs. Like, this year, I have not put no costumes. I got her a little sombrero. I got her a sombrero. I got her a little poncho. I got a lot of outfits. Like, Halloween, I didn't dress them up, man. I got sharks. A shark costume, a pumpkin. I got all kinds of... Oh, she's got a panda bear costume, too. Duchess. Y'all remember her? Yes. We put you for duty. Yeah, she's reporting for duty. We put you for duty. She's looking at the Christmas tree. She loves the Christmas tree, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God. Duchess. You want to go outside? You want some treats? You want some cheese? Oh, you want some cheese? Look, she's like, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, it's coarse. But yeah, 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 you're right, Joel. Yep. She looks like a senora going to church. Yeah, she's got the tea. All right, friends. Well, look, I'm going to let y'all go. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all. Be careful, friends out there. Let's get like some supplies ready. Don't spend a whole bunch. Just get you some. Look, get you some stuff. Look it up on Google. Look, look up the word jailhouse spread. Uh, you will thank me. I will save you hundreds of dollars, man. Some of y'all are going to go to Sam's Club and buy all this ridiculous food. And, and, and why do y'all buy uh, frozen food for the storm? Man, I'll be looking at people's shopping carts. Look, get Gatorades, get water. What's under my nail? Get, get, get Gatorades, get water, some sodas. But they're going to be hot, probably, if you don't have a, uh, uh, electricity. Um, get you some tuna or, like, potted meats. Yeah, that's good. And get you some ramen noodles, some squeezed cheese. That's always good. Some diced up jalapenos. Get you some cans of chili. Um, get you some chips, like, all kinds of chips. You could go, like, Doritos, uh, Fritos. Uh, you can get like that. Zaps. Zaps are good, man. Oh, what's up? Y'all know about the zaps. Um, get you some uh, roast beef. And yeah, you, you can even make jailhouse tamales, dude. Like for real. Pueden hacer hasta tamales. Friends, look up jailhouse food. Like, no, no, no. Look up the word in Google search. Do jailhouse spreads. R No, S-P-R-E-A-D-S. -E spreads. Look that up. You'll thank me later. I will save you a lot of money. You ain't got to go spend hundreds of dollars. I think if you got like a family of two, three, four people, about 50 bucks will do. I promise you, man. Well, maybe a little more because the inflation and stuff. But you will thank me. You just need you just need to get through for a few days. And then and then everything goes back to normal. We construct. We rebuild. If you live in a slumlord situation, I'm already praying for you, man. Make revisions, friends. Get you know if you know your apartments suck and they don't take care of y'all be ready if, if you know your apartments don't take care of you and the electric electrical goes out and the ac is already bad it's gonna get worse because of the bad weather so take precautions i would go stay somewhere else friends go stay with some family or something stay somewhere else friends you don't deserve to have your kids and all of that you know try to find somebody you know a good friend that you can stay with and 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 y'all just ride out the storm together man like find somewhere else to go friends because the 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 bad apartments get worse we see it i know i know i live in bad apartments through you guys y'all share everything with me y'all tell me everything all y'all's problems y'all tell me everything all right well i love y'all and beer beer get you some beer yeah shout out to my smokers uh but yeah get you some beer tobacco whatever your your little your blunts whatever you know Please don't loot don't loot from these stores over here. Please leave leave Homestead alone. Let them let them they already took a hit because of the last storm. If you live on Homestead, just leave Homestead alone, y'all. Just leave our hood alone. Let let the little businesses that dare to give business here. Let them let them like let them ride on this one, man. Don't don't steal from Homestead. Man, leave these business owners. Go somewhere else. Go to River Oaks. <laughs> I said it. Go to River Oaks. No. Uh, we're gonna be like uh, 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 rich people hood news. Oh my god! Mm -mm -mm. Go go to the woodlands. <laughs> Ooh, go to Tyler. Mm -hmm. All right, friends. 
All right. I love y'all. I'll be safe. Jailhouse House lasagna with ramen noodles is 100. What? I haven't had that. The guys in, in the Harris County Jail, they always talk about pizzas. They put it in a big old bag. I've never seen. I've never had that. Like, the women are, are shysty, man. Like, man, if you don't make store, if you don't make store, you got to wash clothes. I would draw. You know how many jailhouse tattoos I gave while I was in prison, like, to, to survive? Because I didn't have, like, I was a single mom, and I gave my, my, my daughter, my mom had my daughter, so I was just thankful for that. I didn't ask for commissary money or nothing. My mom and dad never, we, they never had anybody... I'm the first and only person in my whole family on both sides to ever go to prison. So when I was in prison, nobody knew about no commissary or care packages or none of that. None of that. None of that. So my family, um, basically, uh, they just, you know, I just did without, you know, I would draw, I would like wash clothes. I think I did wash laundry a few times. Uh, I was always find a hustle. When I worked in the kitchen, friends, it was going down. If you have a kitchen job, you're pretty plush. But yeah, I won't talk about all that. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll talk. I'll tell one story. All right. So one time, pork chops. Pork chop is like the ribeye. <laughs> I can't believe I'm sharing this story. Do y'all want to hear this story? I got a jailhouse story. Yes, friends. Okay. Pork chops. Pork chops or any kind of meat. Is like the ribeye in prison. So, so like, I worked in the kitchen. I had come my way up, you know. Like, I was working in the kitchen. Grizzly was a little badass. And so, I worked in the kitchen. And I I don't know why I had this idea to traffic and trade. That's what they call trafficking and trading, right? Like, when you sneak stuff out the kitchen, whatever. This was, like, year. I was locked up for six and a half years. So, year number four. Year number four. I, um... Uh, I, I told my cellmate, Nedra Pierce, I miss her so much. She died, dude. Man, my, my, we would call her Noon. Nedra Pierce, she was my, my roommate. She was like an older lady. And I said, Noon, I need you to come to the kitchen today. I'm, I need you to come through, and I'm going to hook you up with like 10 pork chops. She said, really? I said, yes, yes, I need your help, friend. She's like, all right, baby, I'm ready. So I had like 10 pork chops packaged and, and covered up in the... The bread, the sliced bread, because we gave out bread that morning, like for, for toast, for breakfast. But we were already working on lunch, right? I can't believe that I'm saying this. But <laughs> no judgment, okay? Y'all y'all ain't going to judge me, friends. Anyways, so we put the 10 pork chops. I didn't, I didn't personally do it. I was like a little leader. So I was like, no, you're going to package them, and you're going to pick them up, and I'm just going to watch y'all. That's what I did. I didn't want to get in trouble. And so, because I was about to make a uh, see parole again. So, so everybody understood the assignment. My homegirl, uh, who was it? Little Baby. I think it was Little Baby. She packed the 10 pork chops. But Little Baby was a bitch, friends. Little Baby forgot to cool down the pork chops. So they were hot. She wrapped up 10 smoking hot uh, gravy. They were, they were doused in gravy, like gravy pork chops. You know, they were smothered pork chops, right? So they were hot, hot, hot. She put them in these bags of uh, the, the bread bags, like the uh, Nature's Own. I think that was the brand that, that we would always get in prison. So the Nature's Own uh, bread loaf bags, she like, I think she took like five bags and put one inside the other, one inside the other. She packed 10 pork chops and they were hot. So my friend, uh, Noon, the one that was going to smuggle them out, she she was like, Man, they're hot. And she said, don't worry. It's going to be okay, uh, Noon. Just go, 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 go. So we're like, go, go. None of the bosses that bosses are the officers or COs. None of them realized what was happening or nothing. You know, we're slick, man. We were OGs up in there. So she decides that she's going to go get her diabetic shot. And I don't know why she did this, friends. Man, I don't know why. Like she, Her orders were from me were to go straight back to her room. But she, I forgot she was a diabetic. So she needed to get in that pill line and get her insulin. Man, friends, the, the, the pork chops were so hot and she stuffed them in her in her cooch. Like not in her cooch, but her fupa area. She put the pork chops in her fupa area and she's standing in the line. And, and she's like, oh, she's making these faces. And I was watching. I was watching. I came around from the kitchen to look. I'm like, why is she in that line? She needs to go back to the dorm because they could do uh, a strip search. I was like, why is she doing this? What the fuck? Friends, 
Nedra started to fall out, dude. She was like, oh, she like fell back in excruciating pain, friends. She she had excruciating pains because the, the pork chops were starting to burn her stomach. She took out like... <laughs> she's standing in the line she starts pulling up her shirt friend she pulls up her shirt and she pulls out the pork chops the bag and she starts stomping on it and everybody's like what? the the officers they take her straight to segregation dude they're like what are you doing put your hands up like it's real country over there put your hands up hey mate what are you doing and, and she's like like stomping on the pork chops to get rid of the evidence, friends. And other inmates are kicking the pork chops too because they don't want to be busted. Friends, how about we had the whole unit on lockdown? Friends, I went to segregation with her too for the pork chops. We're, uh, I was in my cooks, uh, you know, with my hairnet. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, Bunky, I love you. She's like, I love you too, Grizzy. I said, man, why are we so stupid? <laughs> <laughs> i said why are we so stupid i said are you okay she's like yeah we were hollering and screaming at each other the grace of god we got to go back into the same dorm i loved her so much she ended up dying while we were in custody uh she went to a hospital she was not doing good at all and she died friends she went to uh texas city i guess she had i, I don't know if she had cancer or something but man, I will never forget that story, friends. Like the the her shirt started turning brown because the gravy was starting to pour out, and she she was just covered up in pork chop juice. She had pork chop juice all over her coochie, all over her fupa, uh, man, gravy everywhere. <laughs> oh my god! And she's like, Grizzy made me do it. <laughs> she ain't never done nothing bad. I think she was truly like an innocent person locked up, friends. She's like, Grizzy made me do it. She snitched me out. Everybody already knew it was me. Like, they already knew. Like, they could never prove it, though. They always knew that behind something it was Grizzy, 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 man. But, yeah, friends, that was some wild shit, man. I got so many stories to tell y'all about jail. Oh, my God. Yeah, I did what I had to do. I guess, friends. Yeah, man, me and my girl, Nedra Pierce, man, a.k.a. Noon. I loved her so much. I would call her slow motion because she walked real slow. She was, uh, her knees knocked. So her knees were like this, like, you know, some people walk like this, like sh sh sh. her knees were like this. So she kind of walked, uh, her knees were knocking. That's that. I was like, man, your knees knocking her friend. And she was just real suspicious in that line, dude. Like her face, like she had a little towel. She was like, Oh, like when the, I guess the heat of the pork chops was heating her up, man. Oh man. On there. And they put me straight in, man. They, we had to spread cheeks and everything. Y'all think I'm laughing spreading cheeks is a real thing i had to do friends when i say oh yeah they're gonna spread cheeks trust me i know personally this the whole spreading cheeks it's real it's based on real life <laughs> yeah man I, I got a lot of stories friends i got i got a i got one from when i fought a drag queen in the harris county jail i got beat up friends <laughs> oh my god there was a lady, I was fighting my case in the county for two years. And there was a, a, if anybody can help me find this person, I would like to see like, where are they now? There, I was in the shower. No, 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 no. I was sitting on a bench and I was loud and belligerent. When I was young, I was so loud and be like, like very rude and stuck up friends. I was stuck up, man. It was what a, I was a little baddie. Well, I got into it with this, this chick, uh, her, she's a transgender woman. And her name was Lady Paris. And they had her housed with us. And and I was very intrigued, you know, like with, with, with Lady Paris. I was like, I, I would always stare at her. She's like, what you looking at? I'm like, no, just looking at you, whatever, you know, like her hair, everything, everything. Like she, she, she swayed better than me and everything. But one day we got into a disagreement behind, uh, what are the games? Dominoes? I don't know if we had dominoes. We had some game in, in, in jail. It, was it the Harris County Jail? No, it was over a book. It was over a book, friends. A James Patterson book. I read a lot of books while I was in prison, okay? So we fought over a James Patterson book. And I wanted to read it. And she gave it to somebody else. And I said, you old stupid bitch. That's what I said to her. <laughs> she said, what'd you say? I said, I said it. Say it to my face. And she got out the shower area. She was taking a shower when I said it. And I said the same thing. I said, you stupid you stupid bitch like less less loud right because <laughs> she was right in my face and she went wham and i went Whoa. i knocked out friends on the floor i was knocked the hell out 
I got I got knocked out TKO total knockout by a strong ass lady Puri. <laughs> oh my god, baby. It turns out she was actually a porn star too. We became good friends. After that, the, the COs, they I was knocked out. They pulled me out and I woke up in a booth. They put me in a booth, like the attorney, uh attorney booth, you know, for the inmates. They put me in there, they put her in there. We made peace. I always make peace with everybody I fight. Like I don't like to carry grudges. Like that every time I would fight somebody, man, we would always be friends again. Like I, I'm not one of those people that you want to hate forever, trust me. And so yeah, friends, we uh she knocked the shit out of me. I had a little I had a little ball right here, a little lump, but I would hide it like this. So nobody could see it. But yeah, I started swooping my hair. I started doing this little thing right here. Swoop. <laughs> oh, man, friends. But yeah, we became good friends. She she ended up getting out. She wrote me a few times. And that's it. That's it, friends. That's all I remember about her. Man, the fights. One time I fought one of my bunkies. Her name was Harlow. And she was a liar. She was a catfish, but jailhouse catfish. She had like a bunch of pen pals. But they didn't know what she looked like. And she was using other girls' pictures. And one day I found out she stole some of my pictures from my books. You know, from inside my books. You know, my photo book. And she stole some of my pictures. It was pretending to be me. And getting, like, all this money and all this stuff from these tricks. These these dudes. There's a lot of dudes that want to save inmates. Like pen pals and all that kind of stuff, right? And I discovered that. And I looked and I was like, hey, that's my picture. Because he had returned the picture, she said, you need to return it. So I guess he made copies and returned it. And my picture was sitting on her side of the desk. And so I was real pissed. I said, what are you doing with my picture? Well, I wouldn't let it go. Like, I was mad. I took my picture back. Weeks passed by. And, and I'm honoring. I could be very, they call me Petty Betty. My family calls me Petty Betty. So I was, uh, I was loud. Like, I would work in the kitchen, right? I worked. I never lost my kitchen job, despite all the bullshit, right? Like, stealing the pork chops. No, no, they love me. And and so, uh, I still got to keep my kitchen job. And I was in the kitchen. I was getting ready. Like, I had to turn out at uh, 11 p.m. And I would work till, like, 6 in the morning or something like that. We would serve chow at 3. And then we'd have lunch ready by 6 a.m. And it would just stay in the heaters. And then they'd just roll out chow, like, around 11 so around 10 yeah 11 o'clock i think that's when they did lunch and so uh man like i was being loud on purpose like i knew she was sleeping and she got so mad friends she got so mad and and we we like like i was sitting on the top bunk and she was on the bottom bunk and she said when are you gonna shut up you 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 know what you're doing you're being loud on purpose i want to sleep and all this stuff. i don't i said i don't give a shit and she's like, what? She got out. I said, it's whatever. I'm ready to fight you. I'm still mad about you using my pictures. So I grabbed the bars. I, there's a, a window. You know, we have windows in prison. Like, you can look out, but there's bars. So I grabbed the bars like this, and then I kicked her in the face, dude. And and then she was like, Roar. I was like, ah! Friends, she grabbed my legs, bought me down off the bunk bed, and we started fighting, friends. Everybody, like, they were starting to turn out for a... Uh, the jobs, the kitchen jobs, right? And everybody started, like, all my kitchen co-workers were looking inside our cell, like, get her, get her, Grizzy, get her, Grizzy. And I couldn't. And the lights were on, and I was getting my ass whooped, friends. So I turned off the light. I couldn't, like, we were fighting, and I made sure to turn off the light because I was not going to give nobody that show. I turned off the light so they couldn't see me getting my ass whooped. So then... She had me in a headlock, right? She had me like this on, oh, let go of me, let go of me. She started punching the back of my head. And that's when I grabbed her cooch. Friends, I grabbed her coochie hair through the pants, like through the pants because I knew she, you know, like, 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 you know, the stuff was like an Afro puff. So, so <laughs> how do I know? A lot of times in the summertime, you're wearing bras and panties. It's so hot, you're in your bras and panties. So she had like, it looked like she had a midget in a headlock. You know, we were we were burning up all summer long and and like it looked like she had a midget in a headlock. So I would uh, I would I, I knew she had that there. So I pulled, pulled like her like she went, oh, like she let out a horrible yell. And that's when I started fighting back. I had a fighting chance, friends. And I started stomping and kicking 
And I started fighting for my life. And I started biting too. I pulled a Mike Tyson. No, I pulled, yeah. I, I pulled a Mike Tyson on Evander Holyfield. And I started biting, friends. I bit her chi I bit her stomach. I bit wherever I could because she started trying to punch me again. And it was on, friends. She came out of there. I came out looking better because all the knots were in the back of my head. So nobody saw me get beat. Like, they saw the beating, but they didn't know what was going on after I cut off the light. But physically, she looked bad. She looked bad, friends. She was bleeding from the nose. She had a lot of scratch marks. She had bite marks. <laughs> then she was walking all weird because I had pulled the cooch. And, and friends, uh, that, that was just crazy. That All of that was crazy. I don't ever care to go. Don't ever go to prison. If you're watching this and you're thinking about committing crimes, do not go. Because, it, it man, it's like survival of the fittest. It is the, the most horrible thing. And, and you don't get to be with your family, friends. I cannot, I will never go back to prison. I refuse, friends. The stories are, I got, they're funny, but in hindsight, it's just like, that's not the place to be, friends. No, 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 no. And, and don't let there be water shortages or bad plumbing. You're going to be pooping in chip bags and trying to throw them somewhere. <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once once, once we came, like, they unlocked the door because the guards came. They didn't know what had happened. And she, did, like, we, we, we had code. Like, we didn't snitch each other out. So nobody really knew. They thought that she just fell off her bunk. She lied. She, we were G's like that. Like, me and her, we didn't tell anybody that we had fought. Well, everybody knew. But when the guards came, they couldn't get the story that we had fought. And she was looking bad, friends. She told everybody, man, she attacked me. She attacked me. And she used that to eventually move out from, from that dorm. She she did write like a form slip because she was afraid I was going to bite her again. I don't know. But I, that was like survival of the fittest. But once I came out, I felt like a champ. I had knots in the back of my head, though, for like two weeks. <laughs> Woo, man, friends. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. It's hilarious. But, yeah. What's another one? What's another one? The pooping in the chip bags. Man, I, I have pooped in chip bags friends because the plumbing went out at hobby unit for like a whole week we didn't have no running water it was a nightmare like they had porta potties but after certain hours like you're locked in they're not going to have the porta potties available so we busted out the screens to our windows and we would poop in chip bags and then throw the chip bags out the windows man that's a man that's traumatic man that's traumatizing i can't even begin to explain oh my god man Mm. Mm, 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 mm. i've done i've seen and done a lot friends in this little lifetime my 45 years of existing i've been through some shit man yeah baby it got very quiet right <laughs> all right yes oh yeah friends i've had the yeah i've had to fight i've had to fight and uh and then and then look down d town dallas chicks what is this under my nail huh i don't know what that is <clears throat> what is that anyways dallas chicks and houston chicks we 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 ride tough that i remember that the valley chicks they do their own little thing they're like their own little click uh the valley and el paso chicks they do them then you got the panhandle chicks they're pretty cool like they're like neutral in in in, in women's prisons there's no gangs there's a bunch of bulldagging though. That's we that a lot of lesbian uh, fights and relationships and 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 stuff of that nature. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of a uh, a lot of uh, relationships, inappropriate relationships, whatever you want to say. Uh, there's a lot of that. There's no gangs. Not like the men. If if they say that they were in a gang, I really doubt it, friends. I'm I'm I I no. It's a bunch of bullshit. They, there's a lot of uh, dads moms they make little families they do clicas like clicks but the one thing i always liked though were the dallas chicks like houston houston and dallas we rode tough like the bigger cities austin too they were part of that and then like all the valley chicks the vayucas and stuff the the chicks from the valley they were like a whole different vibe dude they didn't like like black white and and brown we stuck together like from the small city from the big cities like houston dallas austin uh, we, we rode together, black, white, or brown. We were cool with each other. The, the chicks from the Valley though, they're mostly Hispanic and they did them like they, they did them like they, <clears throat> they didn't, 
they didn't blend like that it, it, it was just different they just they're just different and uh yeah i remember them tarrant county chicks man like uh bear county too san antonio san anto they would do we would we would ride to with with san anto too like the the bigger cities which is which is road tough but them small little towns and stuff they were different <clears throat> and but we didn't deal with the stuff like the guys do the guys they deal with a tongo blast the syndicates the featherwoods they had all that craziness like i i ain't never seen it i ain't never seen it if they say if the woman says that they were in a gang they i promise you they were not in no fucking gang friends Maybe before they got locked up, but I don't know. <coughs> <clears throat> oh my God, friend. Take that tree down already. Yes. Yeah. And a lot of two faced. Yes, friends. Yes. Oh, yeah. Jared Rivas, the, the, the Galveston cop, the off duty cop that beat up that little boy that was already handcuffed and beat him in the back of his head. He's, he's, uh, He's been fired. <clears throat> He's been removed from duty or whatever. Yeah, good deal. Good riddance. Yes, friends. Jesus. Yeah, let me let me update that too. All right, friends. So I love y'all. I don't think I'm gonna write out tonight. I don't I don't know. It's I just don't feel it, friends. I'm just I've been going through some things. So um I'm just trying to secure the, the hood news and, and, and work hard on that and everything else. But I've been real stressed and uh I don't I don't feel like being out there. Let me see if let me see if anything's happening. Hold on. Thank you, friends. Yeah, the Christmas tree it is coming down. I got this Tupperware, so I'm gonna. That, but I'm gonna tell y'all this: I might not have a Christmas tree for Christmas because I don't want to take it out. And it took me three weeks to assemble it, <clears throat> and that took a long time. Like five minutes here, ten minutes there. I, that's how long it took me three weeks to put it together because I don't have time. Because I'm always going here, going there. I got to do this, do that. And still find time for my mom, my dad, my daughter. You know? Yeah. Mm. Duke. Dookie. My name is Dookie, baby. His Dookie. That's his little voice I give him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. Here she comes. She wants love. She always wants love. Oh, that, that's a picture of my daughter. <laughs> I try to keep her pretty uh, private. All right, friends. I love y'all. Be safe, okay? Bye.